So Alex already has actually a pretty decent uh, movie and TV watching setup, but one of the biggest problems with it is the girlfriend appeal factor. He's just using like standard monitors instead of something a little classier. For those of you who don't know, monitors means powered speakers, not just this kind of monitor. Speaking of class, thank you for being the classy guy and leaving the gigantic heavy box for me to deal with by myself here. So Sony sponsored this video where we're gonna be upgrading his setup with the HTZ9F. This is a Dolby Atmos surround capable speaker bar that apparently doesn't care what size or what shape your room is in order to achieve its virtual surround and top firing speakers. And they also threw in one of their X900F TVs for good measure. So let's go see if we can fix things up a little, shall we? All right. I kinda wish we'd brought a dolly. Oh, how nice of you to catch up. You know, I've kind of got the heavier load here. Today's gonna be an interesting lesson on both the benefits and the drawbacks of kind of like standards-based marketing. Because we're gonna see that, you know, when you have Atmos, that's better than not having Atmos. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. So this is the setup then. I see you've got all the features. You've got yeah. the... Uh, Egyptian guy on the front. I actually don't really know what brand that is. You've got your convenient aux cable for plugging it. Do you use this for your phone? I use it for the laptop, actually. So I'm guessing you were getting some uh, some vibration transfer issues here. And this, this is a- No, not really. That came with them. Wonderful. Shut up. Yeah, that came with them. Shut up. I can't tell if you're joking or not right now. No, 100%. Because they, they sound really great, like right here. <laughs> So then as long as we're watching TV like this, then everyone's yeah, awesome. very comfortable. Near field monitors, right? good time. Very, very, very <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> oh, I love also, this very professional high grade speaker wire we've got going on here. With convenient <laughs> red and black coloring. Do you need a hand with this? I think you're supposed to carry these with two people. Well, I'm carrying it with Is that one. a 55 inch? Yeah. Oh, so the one we're putting in is a lot bigger. Yeah. It's a 65. I oh. hope it doesn't like take over the space. It's the very first world problem. <laughs> I'm gonna just put this in here. Uh, do you need, can I help you with this? Nope, this is, this is totally fine. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh good, it lights up. Why, why would you put that on there? I've always gotten such a kick out of the boxes for sound bars. Cause like, it looks really <laughs> stupid. So I guess soundbar first. Oh, I'm taking out the subwoofer for now. So part of the, the fancy magic tech in this guy is that unlike other Dolby Atmos soundbars, which rely on upward firing speakers, this one achieves the virtual overhead surround effect that it has with only three forward firing speakers. Yeah, I have no clue how they do that. And then that's part also of what makes it not care what kind of room you're in, because it's not actually bouncing the signals. So it must just be something to do with some kind of fancy engineering of like a delay of some sort. Yeah, something. there's like delays so you hear it like, I, I have no clue how it works. Sound is freaking complicated because there's a lot more to it than just doing this one earlier and like this one later. Because if you think about it, how would you have three-dimensional perception of sound? How would you know if something is over top of you? Well, it actually has to do with like the way the sound waves like bounce inside the shape of your ear and like your brain learns to understand that and the, and the, the way that the volume changes as it has to kind of like bounce around in there. So it's like not trivial to do something like this. There you go. Okay, TV's on. But what speakers does it, wait, do we even have it plugged into the soundbar yet? Uh, no. Do you have the quick start guide? So I'm plugged into the... TV arc? Yep. Awesome. Did it switch on its own? Oh, that was easy. Switching audio to external. Wow, yeah. Getting started, searching for devices, Bravia 4K, connecting to your... De wow, is that all that I have to do? Are you a grill guy or a naked guy? I'm thinking grill. Really? 
If the whole point of this is like better girlfriend appeal. Yeah, we're we're putting the grill on. We'll put the grill on. Alright, that's fair. Don't forget we need room for the sub. Yep. Uh, where do you want to put that? I think that side personally, but you can go whichever route you want. Oh, I was planning on putting it like way over here. Oh right, it's wireless. Yeah, it's a wireless sub. So like that's one of the reasons why I was like, I didn't really want to get a sound bar because you have to like put the sub. Yeah, so I was kind of thinking just like... Stealth mode behind the plant? Yeah, we go behind the plant, no one knows it's there. Also, one really great feature that I get with this is the ability to turn the bass down. Right. That, that wasn't a thing with the monitors, which is a problem if you want to watch a movie at like one in the morning. Do we want to do the wireless speakers now or should we do this later? I kind of want to try it without first. Yeah, I was thinking so too. Okay, cool. So for connected, wow, that was easy. <laughs> really? Oh. Um... Yeah, we probably should. Wi-Fi is probably fine from here. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's no, no, fine it's until fine. you hit that concrete wall. No, I'll read it to you. I'll read it to you. Is it two, three, seven, foo? Yep. Okay. One, oh, six. Six, just wait, wait, what was that? Do you know which HDMI we plugged it into? Yeah, two. Two, okay, I just clicked on one. There we go. Yes, 4K. All right, so we can launch Blu-ray disc player. Oh man, we have Planet Earth 2 in here. Oh, that's way better. Oh, well, yeah. All right. We should do the demo disc anyway, just so yeah, we can yeah. hear the Atmos stuff. This all sounds like it's kind of coming from the front. Yeah, it really does. Oh! oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was like, are we supposed to be impressed right now? <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, that's that's, that's much wider better. now. <laughs> <laughs> so what, it's just like a make it good button? Yeah, there's a big old button, it's just... Vertical surround, okay. <laughs> now I'm getting some... Yeah. Definite stuff going on around me. These are pretty cheesy demo animations, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the sound hard nice. Sony. Honestly, it's kind of idiot proof. There's not really a lot to change in here, is there? Yeah, where's the how far away you are setting? Speaker settings. Oh, here we go. Wow. That is quite the measuring tape you've got yourself there, sir. So we're going to call that nine feet? Yeah. And we can probably say the subwoofer is what, 11? All right. Well, do you want to add the. Satellites? Yeah. All right, let's try it. How do we know? Um, I think that we just hit link on those and maybe it'll just find them. Okay, not connected, connected was subwoofer. Oh, I guess we got to do the subwoofer since we did manual linking. Well, so cool it has Chromecast built in. Yeah. It's just a nice, ooh, Whoa. hello. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, damn. Wait, is that? Not bad. Yeah. It's a good thing you guys have concrete walls here. I could be sold on that being us sitting in a rainstorm. Yeah. I also, like, if I was blindfolded and you told me that there are speakers there, I'd probably believe you. Yeah. Yeah, it really gives you the, the 360 with those. Yeah. So there it is, the Sony HT Z9F sitting pretty, taking what once was quite a cluttered setup to a very clean one. It's super impressive how they were able to create that much of a surround sound effect using just the three front facing speakers, not just horizontally, but also vertically with Dolby Atmos. And it's made all the better adding the two dedicated rear speakers, creating a particularly immersive movie and TV watching experience. Yeah, I'm impressed. Well, enjoy. Yeah, I will. So thanks to Sony. Uh, thanks to you guys for watching. If you disliked this video, then I guess you just hate Alex. Wow. And you don't, you Why don't would want, you do that? And you don't want him to have nice things. <laughs> if you liked it, though, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description.